Where are we and where do you live? We are currently in the Osmond Park in uh, Osmond, Nebraska. Uh, how long have you lived here? About 13 years. And how's that been for you? Well, I recently came to an epiphany that this town is bringing me down completely. How is it bringing you down? Well, everything about it. It's the schools, it's the, the over-oppressive Christian attitude. It's everything. It's, just, it's overbearing. And where do you socially stand in school or in your community? Honestly, I'd probably have to say just kind of, uh, if anything, probably the bad kid no one talks to. Why is that? <sighs> Mainly because I've been walked all the hell over all my ent entire life because I tried to reach, reach out a helping hand and help people, but they always took it for granted and stabbed me in the back. Why do you think they did that? I have absolutely no idea. All I know is that they did it. So based on what you've gone through in your life and how awesome it's been, what's your look at religion? Well, it just seems like here you're bullied into being a Christian. Being a Christian has absolutely no meaning here. Just either you believe or you don't. If you don't, you're bad. And if you do, you're merry fucking sunshine. So, is it something that was forced on by your parents? Up until about my teenage years, yeah, pretty much. And I decided to just start kicking back. So, what religious views do you have right now? I'm not even really quite sure. I really don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, are you still going to church? Not really, I kind of just quit. So what do you do on Sundays? I kind of just sleep in, you know. I'm a teenager, what do you expect? Right. So is there anything that you've ever wanted to say to somebody, or generally everyone here in school, that you think that they need to know that you would like to tell me? As a matter of fact, yes. Yes, I, I do. Okay, are you willing to tell me? Yes. That all their fucking morals and traditions and conservative Christian attitudes and all their judgmental, prejudiced behavior, you just never know who it's going to affect. You never know. So... Last night you talked to your parents. That's right. So why did you have to talk to them? Because my dad, um, I guess he can't. Me and him, we always used to have a really good relationship. When I was a kid, when I was like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, mm -hmm. it stopped abruptly when I tried to start growing up. It was the same way with his dad. Once he turned into a teenager, it just went all the fucking hell. Mm. And he's never cared about my feelings, so I just don't care about his. Nope. I'm done with that.
So your mom made you talk to him last night? Well, it wasn't a forced talk. I, th I think I thought I'd just give it maybe one last try. Try to convince him that this is how I am and I'm not going to change. And you know, that's not me being stubborn, but I mean, some of the things he wants for me are a little ridiculous. Because he, he thinks that going to church every Sunday, being a good Boy Scout, being an upright member of society, that's a good thing. That's a good <laughs> person. I, 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 I think not. So, what, can you tell me what you guys talked about? Well, he kept going on and on about how this is how he is, which, ironically enough, that's what I always, I've always tried to tell him. And I tried asking him to be a little more caring and a little more kind and compassionate to me and my family. But came nothing. He just said, he just thought he was having a heart attack and threatened to die in the house, which traumatizing, but I just don't care anymore. So, did you guys decide on anything, what you wanted to do? Not a fucking thing. <laughs> he kept complaining about how, since the day we've moved here, that all we ever do is complain, which is anything but the truth. Anything but the truth, but... I mean... <laughs> me and my mom have bent over and taken it from this town. I mean, when she moved here, our house was in fucking shambles. There, we had no ceiling on two-thirds of the house. There was pipes and rusty nails hanging out everywhere. I mean, the fucking house was built in 1910. Mm -hmm. But we didn't complain. She got a job at the hospital and the grocery store where they treated her like complete shit. Mm -hmm. And she absolutely hated it here because she grew up in Columbus, Nebraska, which is not much of a bigger town, but it's still bigger by far. And, I mean, me, I just... It's just here, it's just been really getting me because I just feel like I'm emotionally and socially drowning in just everybody, everybody's complete ignorance and, and no one ever gives a thought about what they're doing to kids like me because there's kids like me, they just don't open their mouths. Mm hmm So, do you think the way that you grew up and what you've done impacts you now? Yeah, it does, quite a bit. So what do you want to do when you grow up? Get out of this town? As far as I'm concerned, that's first on my list of priorities, my action item list, if you will. Uh-huh. Then, I don't know, get a good job. I mean, I, I have a lot of different talents, which is a different subject because none of those talents, that's the main reason why I'm really complaining, I suppose about this town is because my talents are not nurtured in any sort of way. I mean, the school is about to fucking close down. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like no one really seems to care anymore. And I just... There's nothing... I'm not growing in any sort of way mentally. And, I mean, if this affects me in my adult life and my career, I, well, I mean, I can, I can regret living here as much as I want. I can dwell on it, but it's never going to do a damn thing. But all I can really do is try to rise above. Mm -hmm.